For this level, we're looking at economic growth. And so we're going to look at how do you get sustained economic growth, because we've been talking about economic growth in prior levels. So how do we get sustained economic growth? And to help us uh, think about this topic of economic growth, let's consider the situation where you are stranded, sorry, stranded on a desert island. All right, so you are stranded on a desert island, and you need to figure out how you're going to get yourself food. Because when we talk about economic growth, we're talking about access to goods and services. Goods and services have to be made so that people can enjoy them or consume them. So the same thing is true if we're looking at being stranded on a desert island. How do you get goods? How do you get the food you need to survive? Well, when we look at how we would survive, we can apply that same information to how we get economic growth. For example, if you're stranded on a desert island, you need to find a fishing hole, right? Some place to go fishing. And if the fishing hole that you have has no fish in it, then you need to find a different one. So in this case, you get economic growth by increasing your natural resources, finding a new location which has the resources that you need. Since the good is the food, the cooked fish you're going to consume, you need to find the resources, the alive fish, that will turn into your fish dinner. So looking for na increasing your natural resources will create economic growth. It'll help you get more goods so that you survive being on an island. Well, how else could you get access to more goods? What else could you do? Well, you could take some of the trees on the island and turn them into a raft, into a boat. Or you could take a stick and turn it into a fishing pole. In this case, you are creating tools to help you get those fish. So by investing in capital goods, by increasing our capital goods, our machines or tools, we can get more from each worker and therefore create economic growth. You get more fish because you are now using tools to help you do so. How else could you get uh, more food on, when you're stranded on a desert island? Well, you could enlist some of the wildlife to help you. So for example, you could train some seagulls to help you. They could do the fishing for you. So in this case, we're increasing the quantity of goods and services by increasing the quantity or the quality of our labor. So if we have more people in a society working for us and making goods and services, then that's going to grow the economy. On your desert island, if you have more animals who are helping you get fish, then again, you're increasing your output and you're going to have more fish to consume. So here we've looked at we can increase or grow our economy with more natural resources, more capital goods. We can increase the quantity and quality of our labor. When we talk about the quality of our labor, we're talking about how well the workers perform, right? We're looking at how well they do. So one way to improve the quality of your workers is to increase human capital. That is the knowledge that your workers have. So maybe fishing for dummies falls out of the sky and now you know a better way to fish. And so that increased knowledge is going to make you a more productive worker. The quality of the labor has increased, which means you're now able to get more goods, or in this case fish, to survive being on, the strand, on, being on a strand on a desert island. So increasing natural resources, capital goods, quantity and quality of labor. And the last one is an increase in technology. So the more technology you have, the more each worker can produce and the more economic growth you're going to get. So this level, we're going to look at how do we get sustained economic growth? Where does that come from? Where is most of the economic growth coming from in Canada? And there's a side mission this week if you want to create your own video and tell us how you would survive being stranded on a desert island. How would you get uh, the goods that you need to survive?